Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker, the British botanist, made his Himalayan journey to Sikkim in 1849. He was one of the first to discover the beauty of this enchanting mountainous state of India, Sikkim. Wrapped in a gossamer veil, its Elysian glades beckon the weary and its fascinating forests tantalize the adventurer. Numerous prayer flags, the Thacho, flutter in the mountain breeze, relaying the innermost cravings and fears of the worshippers to their gods. In Sikkim, as in many a great civilization, religion was also the fountainhead of art and culture and its motives inspired the exquisite scroll paintings and other aesthetic expressions. Waterfalls abound in the countryside and range from gushing torrents to stately streams of cascading water. Ethereal mist moves on, kissing gently the infant buds and leaves. And it is this that gives Sikkim's tea its unique and distinctive flavor. Carpet making calls for a high degree of skill and years of practice to perfect, as the Tibetan refugees have done with the exquisiteness of their designs. Craftsmen undergo a strict training at the government's Directorate of Handicrafts and Handloom, the DHH in Gangtok. The DHH not only preserves the rich crafts tradition of Sikkim, but takes the lead in marketing the products. The same delicateness and intricate skill that helped Sikkim's arts and crafts to mature are also behind the success of the government's watch factory, the Sitco. The dexterous competence reminds us once again of its parallel with Switzerland, and the vast alpine meadows of the state only reinforces the comparison. The mountainsides are honeycombed with caves and studded with lakes and hot springs and some are sacred as abodes of saints. The performance of several dances, they convey the ultimate victory of good over evil. The bass notes of the long horn, the bardo lomsol, booms over the hills and vales, signifying the limitlessness of time and space. As the music reaches its climax, the monks swing with devotion to the banging of drums and the clashing of cymbals until evil is eliminated in one symbolic strip. Life in the hills, whether for man or beast, or even a spider, is always a struggle. Yet, it is the beauty of nature and the eternal peace that ultimately lingers on in the mind of the visitor. As the twilight recedes into the dusk, and the dusk moves into the night, an incredible calm descends upon this land, and the celestial veil of mist floats around to remind all that it is now time for leisure, it is time for one's near and dear ones, for love and for peace.